Good morning, good afternoon, good night, or whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today, and welcome back to another vlog. So currently at the moment, getting ready for the day, trying to get moving and going right now. I've literally only been up for probably like a half hour at this point. It is after 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and you know, it felt good to sleep in, but I'm still a little bit tired, but that's all my fault, because I didn't go to bed until like 4 in the morning yesterday, but I do have very good reason. Uh, in the middle of editing, I started watching this video on YouTube, because I always watch or at least try to listen to videos on YouTube while I'm editing just to keep, you know, some noise going going and uh, just keep me moving forward with my workflow. I find I work best with either music or a video playing in the background while I'm trying to edit. But I started listening to this interview by this Christian worship like interview service or whatever. I don't even know what you would call it. But they were interviewing one of my favorite Christian worship bands and a part of the interview was them playing their songs throughout the interview in between answering questions about their ministry. And the interview was over an hour long which was awesome. But probably towards the end of it, I got caught up in the praise and worship music and I loved it, but it took away probably about 45 minutes worth of editing by the time I got done listening to it all, but all in all it was just absolutely amazing. It was probably one of the best videos that I've seen in a while and like just the raw acoustic just music was awesome and you really do get caught up all the time in praise and worship music. If you just let it happen, it will happen and I absolutely just freaking love that. Made it over to downtown Albany on this beautiful sunny Sunday afternoon. The city is bustling as normal for a Sunday. And it's not that bad out here even though it's like 39 degrees outside. Like This is not horrible because there's not much of a breeze right now. Which I'm fine with 39 as long as it's not like whipping with 60 mile an hour gusts. Hops in his car, that's a bad blessing. Long night ahead, now she's mad stressing. On their side, but they're still shaking. Gun in their hands, money for the taking. Then he feels her touch, it becomes all too much. Don't say goodbye, say hello. We are at our second to last store of the day. Got one more that has to get taken care of. It's literally almost four o'clock in the afternoon right now. And a few of these stores are supposed to just be in and out, but we've been spending a little bit more time in them because with Easter coming up this coming Sunday, we literally have all of the Mother's Day stuff coming in now and graduation. It's like with this job, you never get a break with holidays because with a holiday a week away, like Easter, they automatically start sending you the stuff for the next holiday so that way a couple of days after Easter is over you can start setting up for the next one so it's just like never ending like I look forward to when we do all of the summer stuff because we get a break until it's time for Halloween and one hour later we are done with work for today I'm on our way home right now we're gonna try to get a lot of stuff taken care of tonight for Captain Coral and what as I said in yesterday's vlog I want to do the channel trailer tonight obviously but I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna do it outside. It's so beautiful out. It's like 43 degrees outside right now, which is awesome. So my best guess right now is that I'm probably gonna end up, if I can do it before daylight goes away, filming the trailer outside and just enjoying the rest of this awesome day. 
been back home for a while trying to get some stuff done, but it is time to sit down for a dinner. We have got some Pillsbury dinner rolls right here, all buttered up. We have got some pasta. We have got wax beans. And to top it all off, we have got a pork chop with a shake and bake. This looks pretty good. It's time to dig in. Yeah. Yo, I used to play hoops in the backyard Back in the day, that's what I knew That was plenty fun Plaguing booty get 21 I never really won I always lost the wind stun And the capping was the theme Around the time I started thinking Rapping was the dream I had that throwback Starter's jacket on the scene The one with the bulls When Jordan was on the team And Rodman was getting teased That's a long way Yeah, for making a song I tonight have learned To have a ton of respect For the person that creates The list of names For the hardest Nails Ministry Divine Mercy Chaplet. And here is why. So with the Heart is Nails Ministry Divine Mercy Chaplet list, there is 50 spots for you to put names. There are 50 parts to the Divine Mercy Chaplet, 10 parts per decade. And some parts with the Heart is Nails Ministry have two names. So sometimes you can have 20 names per decade. Now, as you guys know, I'm leading prayer tomorrow night at Core Team, so I wanted to create the same list for the Divine Mercy Chaplet that we have Heart is Nails for St. Ambrose. However, what I didn't realize is that there was 194 teams on the St. Ambrose database. Not every single one of them comes to life teams, but it'd be really hard to differentiate which ones do and which ones don't because we don't have like a number count of how many times they've been there or whatever, whether it's like zero or one or blah, 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 blah. But I just decided to put all of the names on just to be safe. And that leaves me with sometimes each part being as minimum as Four to as many as five right now and I hope I don't have to increase the six names per part so right now each decade has literally 40 names and then the last decade is gonna be reserved exclusively just for like the leadership like we have for hard as nails so I got myself in for a lot of work on this one I'm way in over my head but I don't care it's well worth it and hopefully I'll be able to get this all figured out and done by the time I need to go to court team tomorrow well something like three hours of work with a tiny bit of a break in between and I am completely done with the Divine Mercy Chaplet list for tomorrow night. <laughs> it's unreal that I was able to get all of that done tonight. 194 names of teens plus six rows left at the end and the fifth decade just for adults and anybody involved in the parish that I wanted to have included in the list. This is something that I've been thinking about for the last two weeks ever since I agreed to lead prayer this coming week. I was like, what can we do for Holy Week? And I've always wanted to since I joined Heart as Nails to be able to create my own list of names just like we have for Heart as Nails and basically have these for life team. I had no idea how many names I was actually going to have to use but it's just awesome that the list is in existence now and my goal is hopefully if everyone down there is in agreement that I will take charge of this list and I will update it with the new database list every single year so meaning all the kids that graduate high school will be taken off the list and they will go into a group category that I have in the fifth decade which is college youth and young adult and then all of the freshmen will get added into the list. It'll be a challenging task. I'll probably have to start a whole new document but who cares it's well worth it. You know a little bit of computer work here and there just to make sure that something that I truly wanted to do gets done. Still got a lot of stuff to prepare though. Gotta make sure my Bluetooth speakers charge for tomorrow night. Gotta make sure all of my books are packed that I need. Gotta print out a bunch of stuff including the Divine Mercy Chaplet list. So it is going to be a pretty busy Monday. I'm going to try to get going early on the vlog so I can film a lot more because I have been noticing since I've gone back to core team that I tend to start the vlogs at like 5, 6 o'clock and I only get maybe an hour's worth of filming done which translates to probably like 2 or 3 minutes worth of footage when I'm completely done. So I'm going to try to get an early start especially because it's warming up literally. By Thursday it's going to be 50. So I'm going to about that. Anyway guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching because I really do appreciate it. I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I love it that you found my videos and I hope that you come back for more. If you enjoyed this and you so desire to slap a like on it, don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also, while you're down there, if you have not already, click that big red subscribe button so that way you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC Vlogs is. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new daily vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, I love you guys so much.
Peace out, YouTube. These voice cracks. I think I'm falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side, chick. Now I really wanna kick it. I get it. But it's time.